ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today I decided to make a video talking about Intel's upcoming GPUs. So I realized I hadn't really talked about them that much, and to be fair, there hasn't been that much information coming out about them, so obviously it's kind of hard to talk about. But we're getting a bit more coming out now, so that's why I decided to make this video. But first, I just have to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, ekoffers.com. So this is a great website. Uh, maybe you need to pick up a Windows key or something like that. Or maybe you're looking to grab Microsoft Office. They've got plenty of other products as well. So definitely check them out. Help support who supports me. So if you're new to tech, you might think, hmm, like Intel don't make graphics cards. I only thought NVIDIA and AMD do. Technically, you're kind of half correct. So Intel don't make dedicated graphics cards by that, you know, the graphics card you actually put into your computer. But Intel have been in the graphics game for a very long time now. Uh, theirs has always just been integrated into the CPUs. Which is why if you go on a Steam hardware survey, you'll often see that by graphics type, or by graphics used by that computer, uh, you'll see that there's a lot of Intel uh, chips up there, like HD graphics, whatever. So Intel has been doing it for quite a while, so definitely don't think that they're like new to it and, and don't know what they're doing. Now, as far as the dedicated GPUs go, they're certainly new to that. Um, but yeah, uh, they've been making a lot of new acquisitions as far as they've been recruiting a lot of people who are very, very familiar with the graphics scene. Uh, Intel, if you don't know, has a lot of money, so that's um, a good thing in terms of if you need to hire more talents for you know upcoming projects like this, you can just hire whoever you need, which is why they've been on a huge hiring spree lately. But let's talk about it a bit more uh, as far as their graphics go right now. So. Recently, we found out more about Intel's Gen 11 graphics, which is going to be featured on the upcoming 10 nanometer Ice Lake CPUs when they come out later on in this year. And yes, they are coming. It's just been forever, but Q4 this year is when they're supposed to come out. So compared to their Gen 9 graphics, which is on the current lineup, which by the way, they're skipping over Gen 10 uh, for a variety of reasons, mainly because they skipped the Cannon Lake CPUs. So, uh, you know, they're just, they're just gonna go straight to Gen 11. Uh, the Gen 11 ones are gonna be a huge step up though. You can see that in every aspect, it's gonna be a big leap forward for Intel in terms of its graphics, and it's gonna feature coarse pixel shading, which is kind of similar to NVIDIA's variable rate shading, which uh, they've been talking about a lot with their new RTX cards. It'll also include tile-based rendering, which allows the GPU to break the scene down into individual tiles, which reduces the memory bandwidth demands instead of sort of rendering the whole thing at once. And it's also going to feature uh, adaptive sync, which a lot of gamers are really going to appreciate that. Uh, it's obviously to cut out uh, tearing and other things like that. So why am I telling you all of this? You know, I've never talked about Intel's integrated graphics before. And that's because the Gen 11 graphics are most likely what's going to be used on their dedicated graphics cards as well. It also could be Gen 12. I mean, it's kind of hard to say right now, but uh, there's a strong possibility that it might be these Gen 11 uh, graphics. So they're going to be pretty good. Like judging by these specs and everything else, it's, it's looking like they're going to be pretty powerful. And although we don't have that much information right now about the actual dedicated GPUs, we have some concept pictures and that, um, that look promising. We can see that from these Gen 11 graphics anyway, uh, their integrated graphics on the Ice Lake CPUs are going to be very, very good. And if this trend, obviously there's going to be differences with the dedicated GPUs. <laughs> they obviously can have a lot, they're going to be a lot bigger for one um, and a lot, lot, lot more powerful. But this is looking pretty good. So for those that were, I guess, thinking that Intel wouldn't know what they're doing, I would say you definitely shouldn't think that. Uh, as far as my opinion on it, I would say that Nvidia just really needs to kick up the backside. Like I run an I run an RTX 2080. You know, I've I've have, I've owned plenty of Nvidia graphics cards. 
I don't mind them as a company. And I mean, there if you were in their position, you would definitely milk the market for everything it has by you know charging a huge amount of money and not really innovating to a huge degree. That being said, I think AMD has been needing to step up for a while, which hopefully we'll see with Navi. But this is good from Intel, and I don't see why it just needs to be. Uh, AMD and, or NVIDIA, I definitely think the market can fit three companies for sure. And um, and I think it'd be very good. And it looks like NVIDIA, uh, Intel, they're onto a winner here. If they can produce a GPU that's very, very powerful uh, and, and they can price it in that, and obviously they've got big marketing budgets, big marketing teams in that. They've been you know, hiring a lot of uh, tech reviewers as well for their marketing teams. Uh, so they'll definitely be able to get the word out about it. I think it's going to be a very good thing for them. But it's kind of hard to say at this stage, but I just see, I just can't see it being a negative. That's all. Like, in, in no way could it really be a negative. But I want to know what you guys think. In the comment section down below, what do you think about the Intel dedicated GPUs? Maybe for you guys who are enthusiasts, keep up with the tech news a bit more. What do you think about this Gen 11 um, graphics from Intel? It's like, to me, it looks pretty promising. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.